Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. On Friday, 31st May is World No Tobacco Day 2024. This year, the theme is protecting children from the tobacco industry. Well, from tobacco industry interference, rather. This morning, I welcome Jaron Collimo, who's the manager of the Tobago Control Unit, the Tobacco Control Unit, <laughs> and Dr. Basant Basdio, who's a primary care physician, too, at the Southwest Regional Health Authority, uh, in, and he's also a smoking cessation trainer. Good morning, and welcome to the show, gentlemen. Good okay. morning. Good morning to you and your audience. How are we doing this morning? Excellent. All right, let's start off with the theme this year. Mr. Collie, I'll start with you. Uh, in terms of, uh, you know, the youth, especially when it comes to protecting children from tobacco industry interference, tell me the importance of this theme for 2024. Well, good morning again to you and your audience. Well, this year's theme will actually um, focus on the youth and protecting um, the youth against tobacco interference. Now, we know, for example, that um, the tobacco industry and vaping industry actually targets the youths regarding especially vaping. So this year, C focus also on vaping. Mm -hmm. It's very popular and prevalent among youths in schools. So this year, we actually actually had a youth symposium at the Hilton Trinidad, and we had over 70 students mm -hmm. and, and youths from over 50 um, schools and also youth organizations. So we understand, for example, that um, the youths are very vulnerable and that they are the ones that actually the tobacco industry is targeting. So that is why we actually had that symposium to actually um, inform them the dangers, uh, dangers of, of tobacco and also to look at the advocacy skills of building that into, into them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, you mentioned you know, that, that the industry is targeting, but I know that the tobacco industry is not allowed to advertise for starters, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we do hear the vaping ads in particular. Um, Doc, let me jump across to you and, and sure. ask about the dangers of yes. vaping so that we understand where we stand. Certainly. So, you know, it's been propagated widely that this vaping thing is something that is safe. But, you know, we want to uh, strongly send a message to our young population that this is just a well-disguised wolf, you know, in sheep clothing. So vaping contains a lot of chemicals in it mm -hmm. um, because it's an unregulated industry. We have found things like, you know, flavorants. They have all these flavors that yeah, attract the bubble, the gum, bubble gum, boost berry, you <laughs> name it, right? So they're particularly targeting the youth mind and the youth population. Right. If they advertise this thing as tobacco scent, Youths aren't going to go for that. Yeah. But when you say berry burst and fruit, fruity, fruit, fruity tooty or whatever they've <laughs> named it, right? It attracts the youths. But in these flavorants are things like formaldehyde, vitamin E acetate. And it's big fancy words for cancer-causing agents, right? Ah. So one of the more concerning things as well, too, is nicotine in these vaping devices. And what the industry has done is whereas in a tobacco leaf, you could only have so much nicotine based on how the plant grows and mm -hmm. its concentration. They've now taken this thing into the lab, they've protonated it, added H plus ion to it. And what that means is it's way more potent and concentrated nicotine concentrations in these vaping devices. So you have stronger withdrawal and addiction happening in our youths. And then finally, they have things like THC which is tetrahydrobinyl carbonyl, which is like, you know, cannabis and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you're not sure you're vaping this, these devices. Some research that I've done have shown a quarter of vape users don't know what's in the, in the, um, in the vape device. Hold on, you're saying that they have THC in some of the THC regular thing. vaping devices? Correct. And in fact, it's, that is what is associated with something that is very traumatic to the lungs called e-cigarette vaping-associated lung injury. And you can think of it as popcorn lungs. You know, popcorn, pop, pop, pop. Yeah. That's literally what's happening with your your, your young lungs, and at such a young age, you're destroying your ability to have a good cardiovascular and respiratory function, meaning to breathe easily, to run, to kick a ball, to move around easily mm -hmm. at such a young age. How long does it take for, for you to be affected by this if you're vaping? So it's immediate, you know, because it's something that you inhale, this thing goes directly into your brain and nicotine particularly, and the effects are immediate. And mm -hmm. within an hour or two, you're going to have withdrawal symptoms. So you wow. find now that our population, particularly the, the, before the age of 25, they're more impulsive, they're more aggressive, mm. they're very anxious, they're very, you know, once this two hour goes, they have these shaky, tremulous, aggressive, irritable, it affects their concentration, their ability to think clearly. And that's where maybe we are seeing a, a sort of outbreak and that sort of aggressive behavior mm -hmm. in our youths because they're more impulsive because these, this industry is targeting their brains and their minds by this addictive substance called nicotine in these vaping devices. That's very interesting because the nicotine is also available in the tobacco and the cigarettes, right? right? But like you mentioned, there's only so much that you could fit into the leaf itself. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Collymore, what advice would you give to young people to tell them to 
How do you get them to stop? How do we get them to say, well, maybe this is mm -hmm. not a good idea? If after everything, Dr. Basio just say, if that's not enough, tell me what, what else would you say to them to get them to stop smoking? Well, I'll tell them, for example, that um, right now, for example, okay, it might seem cool and popular, but also you have, you have to look at long term effects. Mm -hmm. For example, when you, when you reach like middle age, for example, okay, right now, um, for ex you could actually get um, nicotine actually slows down your brain development. For example, okay, you might think, for example, you're 80 and 25, but for example, that could actually um, stun your brain development in, in youths. Mm -hmm. Also, it could also um, cause, for example, as Dr. Bass, you are seeing lung injuries, lung infections. And even the batteries, too, there are actually studies showing that, for example, the, battery, the batteries are actually um, proven to actually blow up, they explode on some persons to cause actually injury to your face wow. as well. Okay. So the risk, there's no risk reduction or harm concerning vaping. Mm -hmm. Anything that actually it's dangerous to your body, don't put it in your body. So how come we don't have the same restrictions on vaping as we have on tobacco? Well, right now, um, that is, that's a good question too, that um, it's actually a novel tobacco product. I mean, for example, there's a new compared to tobacco, which right. actually has extensive studies over um, 80 years of studies. Right. So right now we're actually building um, New research, mm -hmm. new studies to determine, for example, okay, what are the long-term effects and whether they actually enforce any um, regulations and policies which you're working on right now. Yeah. But we also focus in especially on the tobacco education in schools. Mm -hmm. So, for example, my department, Tobacco Control Unit, not up and health education in Malaysia felt even the RHAs also go out to schools to sensitize them about um, the danger of, danger of tobacco and vaping. Mm -hmm. So the there's extensive health education going on there right now in yeah. schools. All right. Dr. Bazio, um, as, as Mr. Colin Mom mentioned just now, you know, some of the research would take some time. We have yeah, had tobacco, so. we've had cigarettes for quite some time. So we know, we've seen, we could say, all right, you started smoking at 16 mm -hmm. and now you're 55 and we can see the impact of that. Yes. But we haven't had vaping for that long. Yes. So how do we know what the, what the risks are associated with it? How do we know? I mean, you mentioned some of the chemicals that mm -hmm. are cancer causing. Yes. But how long would it take for us to be able to wrap up this research so we can have a definitive thing that says we know this is caused by vaping? Yeah. So to the academics out there, you know, this takes time. When tobacco industry came out in the 70s, you had doctors portraying cigarettes and smoking. You had the Marlboro man. They had all these <laughs> fancy things they made. They looked slim and attractive for, for women. To, to, sexy, you know, it's sexy, yeah, yeah. exactly, right? Mm -hmm. So similarly, what we're facing right now is the same thing, but the danger is that was targeting adults. Now we're targeting our youths, and that is alarming because mm -hmm. we're talking about the future generation here, Rockers, that we're creating the next generation of Trinidad and Tobago who are going to be impulsive, addictive, making these very, you know, um, sort of binge decisions and reactive, you know, mm -hmm. based on the neurochemistry. So I want to tell the youths out there, look, uh, don't be the guinea pigs in this experimental phase. Don't let people profit off of your health, right? And um, take, take that same drive, that same reward seeking that's what it's, it affects in the brain no? yeah. and and put that towards kicking a football running on the track playing your pan playing your instruments setting yourselves goals as young people that look i want to be the next brian lara i want to mm. be the next thompson you know um, when, you, when you mention the reward center in your brain it's like the dopamine kicking correct in, and so, uh, okay. yeah so nicotine actually binds to a part of the brain that releases the chemical dopamine. And right. everybody should go and look up what dopamine is. And dopamine is, is the essence of human existence, yeah. reward, coming to work a day to have a good morning show, mm -hmm. um, setting a goal at the end of the year, I want to achieve X, Y, Feeling and Z. Feeling fulfilled. Feeling fulfilled. Yeah. But when we've moved those rewards from long term and medium term to quick, immediate gratification, we're creating a society that's going to just have extreme withdrawal, always be anxious, always be impulsive. A and, bad or spoiled yeah, children is what we're making. <laughs> that's what you're saying. Yeah, right. so I hear you. Yeah. Mr. Colima, if uh, what services are available for people who want to stop who want to stop smoking? And that's a good question. For example, in, in the RHAs, there's also smoke session clinics. Okay. And there's a clinic where, for example, <clears throat> those actually want to quit could actually get his, the behavioral support from trained physicians and nurses and also other health staff. What kind of support do we need when, you, when they want to stop smoking? First of all, the first support you need is actually support from your family and friends. Right. And also, okay, from that, and you're, you're actually, your desire to quit. <laughs> Once you have a desire to quit, you could do anything. Right. And it's where you actually have the, the doctors, physicians like Dr. Basio, dear, to actually assist you, support you. Now, yes, right now, for example, you have that support, bureau support, by working on actually getting medication. Like, okay. For example, nicotine patches and gums, 
our um, substance is actually chronic smokers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you need to actually that medication. To wean them off. You need to them off, for example. Mm -hmm. There may be some withdrawal symptoms, but usually nicotine and others as well, because anything, for example, you want, you're stopping it. Yeah. You're going cold turkey. <laughs> but it will help, you know, for example, yeah. okay, that support, that medication. So we want to ensure, for example, that that you don't, you don't stop by quitting. Mm -hmm. It don't relapses. Yeah. Yeah. So it actually right now in Trinidad and Tobago, there's actually six um, clinics, social clinics in country. Okay. There's four in Southwest Regional Authority, Indian Walk, we have in Separia, Kuva, and also in Point Fourteen. Mm -hmm. In North, we also have um, Arima Health Facility, and then there's also Kumutu Health Center in the East as well. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. But we also want to actually train all the primary care physicians to ensure that they are equipped. To deal with it. Anything, even even though it might be a clinic, yeah. they actually um, equipped to deal with any patient who wants to quit. So, for okay. example, coming with hypertension, diabetes, and they are smoker. So the physicians are actually experts to know, for example, okay, how to deal a patient who actually um, smoking, but there's also um, they are actually diagnosed with a chronic disease. Right. So that's what. And they have two are linked. Yeah, so we have to figure out how to stop one to help you benefit from. Very good. Yes. Okay. Basically, that's what it boils down to. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you so very much for joining us this morning and for sharing yes. this information. And I think that uh, well, we can head to Cross City Ministries website to get more information on cessation. Yeah. Correct. Certainly. Yes. Ministry yeah. website as well. And for example, for vaping, you can also check WHO Power website as mm -hmm. well for more information too. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, Jaron Collimore, manager of the Tobacco Control Unit under the Ministry of Health, and Dr. Vasan Bazdio, who's the primary care physician too at the Southwest Regional Health Authority and Paho Smoking Cessation Trainer as well. Thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen. Enjoy the rest of your day. We take a quick break and come back with more on the Now Morning Show. Stick around.